Hey everyone, welcome back to daily tuition. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install MongoDB in your local system. I've got many requests to create MongoDB tutorial. So I decided to make the first installation video on MongoDB. Most of the beginners don't know how to install MongoDB and how to work with it. If you don't know what is MongoDB, then this is the best time to install it. Because we are start making videos on MongoDB as well. In this tutorial, I will show you the installation process of MongoDB and also create an Alice name to launch MongoDB server. So let's first understand how to install MongoDB using MSI installer. Now let's first understand from where you can download the MongoDB server. So you just need to open your browser and type here mongodb.com and press enter. So in this website, you can find the documentation of the MongoDB and here you can find the all necessary information of the MongoDB. But before we move on, I just wanted to explain why we need MongoDB in our system. MongoDB is an object-oriented, simple, dynamic, and scalable NoSQL database. It is based on NoSQL document store module. The data objects are stored as separate document inside a collection, instead of storing data into columns and rows of traditional relational database. The motivation of MongoDB language is to implement a data store that provides high performance high availability and automatic scaling. MongoDB is extremely simple to install and implement. So if you don't know what is MongoDB, follow me. I will show you the step-by-step -step process to learn MongoDB. If you ever work with JSON, then MongoDB will be your first choice for server-side database because MongoDB represents their data in JSON format. Now, so to download the MongoDB, you just need to click on this try free button. Once you press that, just click on this server and from this server, you just need to download the MongoDB MSI file. So first select the version. So I'm going to select the current release, then select the operating system. I'm going to choose my Windows 64 bit operating system and then select my MSI version. You can choose the zip installer as well, but I'm going to show you the simple process to install MongoDB in the local system. So I'm going to choose here MSI and press download to download the MongoDB in your local system. So I'm going to press the download button. I already downloaded this latest version, so I'm not going to download it again to waste your time. So I'm going to just open the MSI file. Now, as you can see, we have this installer on the desktop. Before you install this installer, make sure you have administrative privilege to install this installer. Because when you install this MongoDB, this is going to start the MongoDB server in your local system. So I'm going to open this file as administrative privilege. So I'm going to just double click on it and just say run. The first window will ask you to start this setup. So I'm going to just say here next. And here you just need to accept the terms and condition and the license agreement and just press next. Now this window will ask you to choose the setup type. If you choose the custom one, this type allows user to choose which program features will be installed and where they will be installed. And this is for the advanced user. But we are not the advanced user. So we're going to choose the beginner one. So I just want to install the all the features of MongoDB. So I'm going to choose the complete one. Now at this point, leave the checkbox as it is and choose this run service as network service user. Now from here, you can specify the service name. I will leave this as it is. Now let's take a look at this data directory. In this data directory, MongoDB store their data, just like their document and the collection. The default path of this data directory is the root path of the MongoDB server. So this is the root path of the MongoDB server. And just after that, you can see the log directory. So what is log directory? Server generate a large number of event that can contain useful information about their operation, including errors, warnings, and user behavior. By default, the most server store their data in the plain text on their local file system. So at this point, MongoDB store their all the warnings, the user information, and the messages in this log directory. You can change this directory after the installation as well. But I will leave this as it is. So I'm going to press next here. The next window will ask you to install the MongoDB Compass. The MongoDB Compass is a graphic interface tool that displays information about MongoDB database and perform queries. We don't need this interface, so I'm going to just deselect it and press next. Now at the last, you just need to press the install button to install the MongoDB in your system. So I'm going to just press on this install button. This will take few minutes to install MongoDB in your local system. Now, as you can see, the MongoDB is successfully installed in your local system. So I will just say here, finish to finish this installation. 
Now let me first open the MongoDB directory. So I'm going to just open the C drive and in this drive we have MongoDB in this program files. So I'm going to just open it. We have this MongoDB folder. I'm going to open it. Open the server and the version of the MongoDB. Now as you can see here we have this data directory where we store all the data of MongoDB. In this data directory we have the collections and the index. We have all the stored data in this directory. And in the log file, we have the txt file of warning, messages and the log information. All the log information goes here. Just open the bean file and in this file you can see different exe files. You don't need to worry about all these exe files. Instead, you just need to take care of this mongo and this mongod exe file. Let me first explain what is mongo and mongod. So let's first understand what is mongod. So the mongod is basically a host process for a database. When you start mongod, you are basically saying that start the mongodb process and run it in the background. So when you execute the mongod, this is going to start the mongodb server in the background. And you can access the mongodb server on the default port 27017. In the other hand, we have the mongo exe file. The mongo file is the command line shell that connects to the specific instance of mongod and when you run this mongo with a parameter, it will connect to the mongodb server on the default port. And executing this command will start the command line shell where you can execute the mongodb commands. So we just need to execute this mongo command to start work with mongodb. To execute mongodb, you just need to execute this mongo command. As I said earlier, mongo is a service running in the background. And mongo is a command line interface to execute mongodb commands. So I'm going to just execute this mongo command to start the mongodb server. So you just need to double click on this application file to start the mongodb server or just open the cmd and execute this exe file. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use the git bash shell here. If you don't know what is git bash shell then don't worry feel free to learn how to install it. A git bash shell is a unique shell command line interface commonly used in different linux machines. So I'm going to use that in my windows. So if you wanted to install this git bash shell just open the browser and just type git here and press enter. Just click on this first website and just download this git tool in your local system. A git bash for windows is a package that comprises of two parts, a git and a git bash. A git is a version control system which is also known as VCS which track all the file changes commonly used for programming in the team setting. And when you install this git tool, you just need to right click anywhere and you can see this git bash here. And when you open it, you can see you are in the program files and you are in this bin folder. Now to execute this mongo exe file, you just need to specify the reference of the current folder and just say mongo and press enter. So once you press enter, this is going to start the mongodb server on the port 27017. And you can see the session id, you can see the version of mongodb right here. Now it is not possible to execute this mongo file from anywhere because we have this mongo file in this mongodb server 4.0 in this bin folder to execute this file you need to you need to open the you need to open this bin directory execute this mongo or this mongo file so this is very time consuming to open this file and execute this mongo from this bin directory so to solve this problem we have alice using the alice we can specify the absolute path of the exe file and we can specify that value to the variable so once you call that variable, we can execute the mongo server. Let me show you how. So I'm going to just stop this mongodb server. So I will just press ctrl c and clear the screen. Now to create your alias, you just need to back to your home directory. To back to your home directory, just say here cd to change the directory and just specify here tilde operator. So this will change your directory to your home directory, right? I will just clear the screen and here I just want to create an alias of this mongodb exe file. In this home directory, we are going to create a file called bash profile. So to create this file, you just need to say here touch and then specify the name of your file. So I'm going to just say here dot bash profile and press enter. So this will create this file in the home directory. Now I just wanted to open this file. So I'm going to just say here vim and just specify the name of this file. So I'm going to just say here dot bash profile and press enter. So this will open this file in this terminal. Now to insert text in this file, you just need to press I. 
this will open the insert mode of this file. So I'm going to just press here I. In this file, we need to specify the alice name, we need to specify an alice, the variable and the path of this mongo and this mongod. So to create an alice, you just need to specify here name of alice. So I'm going to say here alice. So I'm going to just specify here mongod. So this is the exe file. So I'm going to just specify the name mongod to this alice. Then specify the equal sign and in this double code, I need to specify the path of this exe file right so i'm gonna say here forward slash c drive and in the c drive i have these program files so i'm gonna just say here program files so as you can see in this path we have this space so i'm gonna just specify here backward slash and then specify the forward slash here specify the next directory here so i'm gonna just say here mongodb so i'm gonna say here mongodb server then specify the version so we have 4.0 version so as you can see here at the recording of this time we have 4.0 version if you have the different version change this version to your current mongodb version then specify the forward slash the last bin directory so i'm going to say here bin and i want to store this mongo.exe file in this variable so i'm going to say here mongo.exe right just after that, I'm going to create another alias of Mongo. So in this Mongo alias, I just want to store this Mongo exe file. So I will just say here equal to sign and in the double quote, I'm going to specify this path. So I'm going to just copy this path and paste it inside this double quote like this. Just after that, I just need to specify this Mongo.exe file right here. So I'm going to say mongo.exe. Now just exit from the insert command. So I'm going to press escape button. Now to save this file and exit from the beam, I'm going to just say here colon wq and press exclamation mark, right? And press enter to save and exit from the beam, right? Just close this terminal, open it again. And as you can see, if you wanted to execute this mongo, you just need to say here mongo and now i want to get the version of my mongodb server so i'm going to just see here hyphen hyphen version so when i press enter i'm going to get the version of my mongodb server now if i change my directory let's say open my desktop and on the desktop i'm going to right click here and say open git bash here from the desktop i want to access the mongo file I just want to get the mongodb version from this desktop so i'm going to just say here mongo i will just call the mongo alice and just specify version and when i press enter this will print the mongodb version here now if we didn't create it alice then we can't access the mongo from the desktop because of alice we can access this mongo command anywhere from the system right now i just want to start the mongodb server so i'm going to first clear the screen and just say here mongo and when i press enter mongodb server started on the port 27017 and you have the session id here now let me check how many database are there in my mongodb server so i'm going to just say here show dbs and when i press enter i'm going to get how many dbs are there in my system so i have admin config and the local database right as simple as that in our local system, you can now perform MongoDB operation easily. We will learn everything step by step. If you have any question regarding to this tutorial, ask me anytime. Like this video if you find anything useful. Subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next tutorial.